Move over National Brownie Day. There's a new date to circle on your calendar. Today is National Crossword Solvers Day. Miles Miller, the most prolific crossword puzzle writer on the planet, created this day to help people fighting Alzheimer's. I've always wanted to help people with crossword puzzles. A few years ago, when we first profiled Miles, we learned what a big deal he is. You've been in all these magazines. Yeah. 600 magazines in all, and 45 books. Halle Berry, yeah. George Clooney, yes. on the cover of your book. Yes. <laughs> Born in England, when Miles' mother passed away, he sent crossword puzzles to his father to cheer him up. He was so happy to get them. It, just, it really made his day. Puzzling over a crossword not only passes time, but exercises the brain which is why Miles provides puzzles to Alzheimer's San Diego for free. It's a serious problem, and you know, but I think I can do something to at least uh, halt decline for people. You got a big heart, don't you? I do. So nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Eugenia. Yeah. Eugenia Welch, CEO of Alzheimer's San Diego, says the puzzles in their newsletter and website are a treat. Something like that where somebody's really contributing their talent, it's great. Things like crosswords and different sorts of puzzles really do help with taxing our brain a little differently. Have you tried to tackle one of Miles's crossword puzzles? You know, actually, when the first one came out and was shared with us, I gave it a shot, and I I think I need the extra easy peasy version to start with. As for Miles' new date on the calendar, do you realize that December 8th is also National Brownie Day? <laughs> I didn't, I forgot that. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> did you know that December 8th is National Salesperson Day? No. You didn't know that. Did you know that December 8th is also National Lard Day? No way. When Miles applied to create Crossword Solvers Day, it's not easy. And neither are his puzzles. 27 across. Wow, that's a big word. Oh, I know. At least for me. Woman, Woman of rank. rank. A diva? No. Uh. <laughs> Lucky for me, he offers the answers in the back of every book. If you want, you can cheat. <laughs> you... An old time phone. An old time phone. Rotary. Yes. Ooh, Bingo. Somebody's heating up. The message is, crosswords are really good for you. Jeff Sevely, CBS 8.